be tested not far from now, but it was designed and engineered to exceed existing standards. So we expect to be really class leading in that segment, and we have high hopes for that. Uh, we going along with that uh, base vehicle improvement, which is a massive investment into the vehicle. We also offer now at a very attractive uh, prices and packages, blind spot monitoring system, rear traffic alert systems, forward collision warning, and park distance control. So that safety story will be next to the fuel economy story, really important for us to launch and communicate to the customer and sell it as a dealership. Um, going along with that, uh, there's more to usability and practicality to talk about that vehicle. The trunk is huge, it's big, it's best in class. Um, the um, feedback we receive from customer Volkswagen brand stands for it's a zippy drive feeling. And here you see we have the highest power by far and the highest torque <coughs> compared to our competitors, which are also gorillas in the room. So we perform very well with that uh, offer there, and I think that's also contributing to that Zippy Volkswagen uh, drive uh, brand in which we have, and uh, which we are appreciated for by our customers. And of course, I repeat it again and again, the TDI offers us that class leading fuel economy um, for that vehicle and the other vehicles to come. Um, the price range, I'm not going into the details, it just shows you the broad variety of the trims we are able to offer and the attractive entry price around $16,000. Really the volume will be sold around <coughs> the $18,000, $20,000 price bracket and we are offering packages now uh, in that entry segment with keyless go, the uh, premium radio and the rear view camera which again is what we heard from our, our customers bringing value to the low entry vehicles and then adding at the top end the driver assistance packages and the lighting packages um, which we of course can play in the future as we want to uh, much more flexible. So it's a very attractive, very competitive lineup, price oriented, same value story to be told with the TDI starting at uh, $20,740 and again <coughs> the packages available at the SEL trim level. Talking about the second big uh, baby we are launching, and I'm uh, specifically proud of that one, the e-Golf. Uh, in my previous uh, job in Germany, actually, I was running the e-mobility on the group level for sales and marketing. And e-Golf, of course, was one of the uh, core products. Next to the e-Up, we launched in Europe, a smaller vehicle. But for the US, the e-Golf is now the first fully electric vehicle we are launching in the US for Volkswagen. And we have a very attractive offer, very high performance car designed with 70 to 90 mile range. What our customers in Germany already uh, like very much is the Eco Plus function, where you can extend your range up to 100 miles under ideal driving conditions, where certain usage um, parameters are being reduced and the driver is being helped to save uh, on uh, energy consumption. The good thing about the Golf <coughs> coming from the NQB platform was designed from the very beginning to uh, encompass a big battery pack. And so you see no compromise in the functionality of the Golf. So there's no bump in the uh, trunk or no uh, uh, decreased leg room. Uh, uh, the uh, drivability of that car weight-wise is not compromised. That's really a key asset of the Golf configuration offering that uh, e-drive. The uh, battery is a 24.2 kilowatt lithium ion uh, battery with 115 horsepower and you will be able to drive it. Uh, it's really very fun to drive, very zippy, very versatile, um, very reactive uh, drive feeling. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we also have the signature LED lights in the C shape which contribute very much to the perception when you are on the road. Um, so that's how the car should and will look uh, on the roads. Uh, it has uh, the signature lights, it has differentiated front and rear bumper, it also have different uh, uh, low resistance uh, tires, it's a 16 inch alloy wheel uh, tire and with that coming a very low uh, um, uh, air coefficient of 0 .0, uh, 0 0.27. The uh, powertrain uh, already mentioned, um, very uh, nice 199 pound feet torque. So. Uh, Highway jump, city driving, you are up to the uh, you know, regular car park or even faster. I drove that car myself for 
almost half a year as a prototype in Germany, and I felt really good driving in a German environment in the city and on highway. Only at night, at like midnight, when people are rushing by with 160 miles per hour, you feel a little bit limited in your speed. But that's the only situation I experienced. Uh, really a difference there. Uh, the battery is made out of 264 prismic cells. We are assembling uh, the battery in-house uh, in Germany and we are producing the electric engine in-house in Germany, which is really key for us because we believe that's the core technology to master and be competitive uh, in the future. The charging also key is we are higher than what's offered in uh, Germany. We have a 7.2 kilowatt onboard charger and we are offering a very attractive uh, charging package. You can uh, also uh, learn more about in, uh, with our Bosch and uh, e-mobility experts later on, uh, where we install the wall, Bosch, uh, the wall box by Bosch uh, at uh, the customer's home. And we are offering with the launch edition standard a DC fast charging <coughs> technology where you can charge the battery within less than 30 uh, minutes uh, up to 80% of the capacity. And we also, and that's not in the briefing, <coughs> we will also ensure that the DC fast charging technology will be available at our e-mobility dealerships. That's really key and that's the first for us in the market that we invest in infrastructure and uh, offer fast charging, which is actually a very expensive technology. It's not made for private home use uh, at our dealerships to make it even more attractive for our customers. Um, to drive the vehicle and have an extended range available by using the dealerships and networks we are establishing. And a feature which our customers really like are the driver's electrical regenerative uh, braking settings and the e modes you can select. Uh, some customers even engage in competition using that kind of features. Uh, in Europe, I expect also a lot of customers reflecting uh, that being a very cool feature to use. And, you know, pay attention to the uh, usage uh, in the given speed limits uh, here in Virginia and, and play around with that and, and let me know how you think about that. Um, again, the package lends to a very competitive vehicle in terms of interior volume, rear seat leg room, which is key for an electric vehicle where you have a, normally a big box uh, inside the vehicle. There's no compromise for the customer uh, with the e -ball. The torque, given the um, high weight you normally may expect for a vehicle like that is really very attractive and is exceeding its competitive set. So we think we have a very attractive performance car out there, a uh, very uh, good offer defined for the usage of the car with investment in DC charging uh, and the pricing um, of that vehicle which uh, we will start at 299 with a very highly equipped vehicle and uh, the retail price of 35,400 to 45 dollars. And that includes leather seats, 16 inch alloy wheels, navigation system, the charge uh, 7.2 kilowatt I talked about, the DC charging, uh, which is not here on the list, but it's included in the launch edition, the heat pump and the LED headlights as a first to market. So the e-golf really, we took a very holistic approach because driving the e-golf, uh, of course, offers you uh, tailpipe-free emissions, uh, no emissions at the vehicle, but you have to think beyond that. And uh, because if you charge your vehicle just with regular uh, power from coal or whatever, it's not really a green vehicle. But we want that vehicle to be a real green vehicle. So every golf being sold in the US in the warranty period, 36 months, is emission free because we invested and partnered <coughs> with um, um, a reforestry program so that we are ensuring that uh, the tailpipe emissions uh, you normally uh, would have kind of attributed to that vehicle coming from power plants is compensated. So the eGolf really uh, drives carbon neutral free here in the US which I think is really uh, an exciting thing to communicate with the customer. You can't touch it, but that's the sense why you drive an electric vehicle and just shows the commitment of Volkswagen to do the job right with electric vehicles. Also going along with that, for the practicality, ChargePoint, an established player infrastructure in the US, we teamed up with ChargePoint. You have a charge card and you have access to 18,000 charging stations in the US, which is really important for the range extension of that vehicle also. 
Uh, we have a very competitive offer with the Wallbox installation, very conveniently, very price attractive. We design with our partner Bosch, and Bosch is really the biggest player in the US and in Europe. We teamed up with Bosch also in Europe in the installation of Wallboxes. And of course, very important to the customers uh, in terms of what happens if I get stuck with an empty battery uh, by mistake. Uh, if no worries, we don't care why you get stuck, if at all. Uh, there's a free roadside assistance plan coming with that vehicle. No worry, we come, we pick you up, we recharge you, and off you go. So really no worry, no explanation. Uh, but we want to say, tell the customer also, there's no uh, kind of uh, fear or hassle going along with that kind of unfortunate situation, if it ever occurs. So, the year of the Golf 2015, Ready, Set, Golf, that's the headline uh, we will talk later in the marketing section about, but it's really much more than e-golf we already launched and you have been with us for the GTI and the Golf TDI and the 1.8 T uh, to TSI uh, at the dealerships now, uh, the e-golf coming in November this year. Uh, the Golf R will continue the Golf story for us early next year and then Highly expected, uh, expected also from our dealer body is the uh, what uh, was mentioned already the Golf Sport wagon uh, coming in early 2015. So GTI, I think I can be very fast. That's really the iconic hot hatch uh, established uh, as the first car ever in the US that segment, and since then over its generations and with that generation has won numerous prizes from you, the media, here just a few with cars.com, USA Today, Motor Week, Car Drive, it's very difficult to not, uh, I don't want to exclude anybody, but we are very appreciative of the media feedback we receive for that car uh, and we offer with that also the award winning premium Fender audio system. That's really a cool car, I had it uh, also as a family car actually, my wife drove the GTI and she skipped many family cars because she liked that so much, zipping around uh, in Germany with that. The pricing of the overall golf is very attractive and that's one thing I also want to emphasize again because it's consistent with the value story we are um, um, <coughs> into, uh, now introducing with the Volkswagen lineup to make it more uh, uh, competitive also. Our starting price as a launch edition is below $18,000. That's really going back long to the roots of uh, what maybe at some point was called a rabbit, but we really made a big effort of having that launch edition at $17,995 available. We also, for the volume models and the TSI, introduced a new trim level uh, that basically is $3,000 below the previous TDI offer. That's a first for us too. So very attractive pricing for the TDI. Um, the 1.8, I talked already about 170 horsepower, 37 miles uh, highway, two liter engine, TDI, 40 miles, uh, 45 miles per gallon, um, and again, uncompromised versatility, and the IHS uh, top safety pick plus, which is really exciting for us, and we achieved that rating. So, quality, size and versatility, more power, safer, more value, the TDI content adjusted down 1,400, but in an offer, you know, uh, more than $3,000 below its predecessor, the TD, TSI repositioned by 2,200, content adjusted, and the GTI content adjusted, uh, $700 more attractive, and sticker price that is basically just $195 more. So really very aggressive pricing for a high-end quality, high-performance product, you know, with a lighter body, wide, with more fuel-efficient uh, engines and more cleaner engines. That's really the story of the Golf uh, on kind of one spreadsheet told. Touareg, premium for the Volkswagen car uh, brand here in the US. We uh, enhanced the appeal with a more aggressive design uh, of the front end, uh, the light design, the grille design, the bumper design, uh, adding new wheels. Uh, we had uh, sharpened the rear design with a new tornado line, a sharper tornado line. Uh, continuing that story in the interior with more luxurious features, uh, different materials, a 
a new uh, center infotainment uh, set up uh, in the center console and we are offering our blind spot monitoring, lane assist, automatic post collision, front assist, city emergency braking, ACC, cruise control. So you see a lot of features pouring in uh, to that car line, other car lines, very consistent story here also on the very high end of our premium portfolio. The car is going on sale in early 2015. Same story on Passat. Uh, Passat receives now, uh, one year before its facelift, a new engine, the 288 TDI clean diesel again, 150 horsepower, 10 more horsepower added, uh, very attractive uh, 44 miles per gallon uh, um, fuel economy with the TDI. Uh, the um, range is 814 miles with that uh, gas tank or TDI. And that's also one thing we hear from our TDI customers. They're really enthusiastic about not stopping so often at gas stations to give them the range next to the performance and the torque of the engine. That's really a convenience feature almost, you can say. Uh, and of course, it's, a, it's an aspect of saving, especially more in Europe, but still also uh, here in the US. Um, and we continue the value story with Passat and the S entry trim and the Wolfsburg edition. And the Wolfsburg trim, you remember, is kind of the value edition we established as a brand uh, across the car lines. Wolfsburg edition now including the rear view camera and the premium infotainment system. So, Beetle, uh, just quickly, a very attractive fuel economy offer here now, also with the uh, new TDI uh, going into the Beetle at 41 miles per gallon for the coupe and uh, 40 miles per gallon for the convertible. Uh, the classic trim is also a reflection of making the Beetle trim line uh, walk up more attractive at the lower end, the higher <coughs> content. So we added the classic at 20,195 for the coupe and uh, 25,995 for the convertible. You see the list of features going into the vehicle. So again, a very attractive uh, roundup offer for the Beetle coming to the market for year 15. CC receives new wheels. The EOS it is run out again, last edition, final edition, uh, replacing the sport trim with new wheels, uh, two-tone uh, interior where uh, we paid attention to the details of like the stitching, we added rear view camera and rain sensing uh, for the EOS uh, in that launch and that run out package. T1, very important segment of course in the US, we made the T1 more attractive uh, and more aggressively uh, content and priced um, with uh, having more content added to the lower trim lines. We are, our trim lines have the standard rear view camera and the Sirius XM satellite radio. The car net is now part of the entry trim uh, and the touchscreen radio is as well part of the entry trim. Heatable seats added to the entry trim and the SE, the middle uh, kind of trim level will receive the panoramic roof as standard. So again, feature content added. So in summary, before you go and drive, uh, we really now feel very comfortable and confident. We have a very attractive portfolio for the immediate future, 2015, with first homeworks done on repositioning cars, adding more value to our car lines, and offering better engineered technology, fit and finish, the typical Volkswagen Zippy drives, the handling, and the driver experience, and that as a very attractive price. Second, eGolf which you hope, I hope all you can drive today. Very nice, uh, very attractive offer uh, in a uh, segment which I think will, you will see more to come, an electrification of our portfolio. Uh, the Jetta, very important vehicle for us with the enhancement we done next to the Touareg, our premium car. And then of course we'll talk more in the future on the R-Golf to come and the Sport Wagon to come. So that rounds up my part and I look forward to to uh, your questions now, it's all the best time to talk about more things on Thanks. Thank you. So, Jörg built up all the excitement he mentioned in all vehicles. We now have the new diesel engine, and it's my job today and my honor to present to you.
the really technical details about our new diesel engine um, that we launched this model here here in the US.